Welcome to Option Trades today. I'm Tony the Bat Batista, and you're right here in the Bat Cave in downtown Chicago. It's May 30th, one day before my son Nick's birthday. May 30th, 2024. I've got a trade idea for you today, but let's first look at what the market's doing. Even the S&Ps down $17.50. NASDAQ down 115 and the Russell, which has been the weakest of the group the last couple of days, is actually up almost one and a quarter percent, up $24, while everything else is down around half a percent or more. Dow down 294 and volatility down 28 cents. Now, my opinion on the market today, volatility seems to be quite weak, even with the market lower. But I hate it when the Russell is the leader in the clubhouse and not the NASDAQ or the even the S&Ps. So I'm a little bit torn, but I'm still going to do the same thing I always do. I'm going to go to my watch list. I'm going to look at my high option volume list. I'm going to take away earnings. I don't want to have earnings, but I thought we would trade a binary event because I got a bunch of emails about NVIDIA. But first, let's look at it the way I like to look at it, which is to see what the IVX five-day change is on NVIDIA. First of all, I'm not going to break any rules that I like to keep when I'm looking at new, new trades. Earnings have come past. The IV rank is 39 and change, which is good. The IV rank over the last five days, the implied volatility of NVIDIA, as measured by itself, is going up about 8.5% over the last five days. We like to sell high uh, volatility. We like to sell volatility when it's going higher, not when it's going lower, because that's what we expect it to or want it to do. You'll notice here I've got high and low. The stock is trading 11.36. It's about in the middle to the lower end of its range today. I would expect if Nvidia goes higher that this volatility would uh, would expand. If volatility goes if Nvidia goes lower, then this volatility will will contract. For that reason and because it's a stock split 10 for 1, I'm going to use a defined risk strategy. Let's take a look at what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go to July, as I always do, and the reason why I'm doing this is kind of a little bit of a lesson for you and also um, for you to learn along with me if you don't make this kind of trade or you've never traded a stock that's going for a 10 to 1 stock split. Now, there's going to be no NS options. That means non-standard options. The way I've read and understand the split to be, all of these options that we're trading right now are going to be exactly the same options that you will be trading um, on the 7th when the stock splits. That's in June 7th when the stock splits just about a week from now. So instead of if you were trading the, uh, the 1140 options, since it's a 10 for 1 split, it would be the 114 options. Let me show you um, the iron condor I'm going to do and the I will keep throughout going into the going into the um, the stock split so we can learn together or you can watch me as we uh, as we do this together anyway I'm gonna go to a twenty dollar wide remember it's gonna be a hundred and forty ish dollar stock hundred and fourteen dollar uh, stock so I'm gonna go to the 1390 calls and the 1410 calls I'm gonna sell the 1390s right around one standard deviation with 15 days to go Outside the expected move, I'm selling the 1390 1410. I'm selling this spread for around a dollar 80 for argument's sakes. Um, just on one side of the iron condor, you know, on an iron condor, or any kind of spread, there's no um, margin that you're using, so the buying power that you're using is absolute, meaning it's exactly the amount of money that you are have at risk $1,820. If you're doing this at 18 at 100 and $85. This spread alone will become about an 18 or 19 cent spread, and you will have 10 contracts instead of one. Right now, you have one contract on June 7th. After the split, you will have 10 contracts. Let's take a look at the iron condor I'm doing. I'm going to go down to the 960 puts. 960 puts. I'm going to buy the 940 puts. So I'm $20 wide. On each side, again, my buying power is going to reflect um, how much credit I'm receiving plus the width of the strikes. So if it was uh, around $1,550, I did this spread at 
and 60 cents. Now, what will I have June 7th after the split? I will have 10 contracts on each one of these lines. So I'll be long 10, short 10, short 10, long 10. And instead, if all things being equal, if I sold this spread at $4.60 and nothing has changed, this spread will be trading for $0.46. Cents. You will have 10 contracts on each side, and you know at Tasty Trade it costs you nothing, zero commission, to close any trade that you have on existing. So these 10 contracts that you'll have will be no commission to close. You paid $1 to get in. You'll pay zero per contract to get out, even though it is 10 contracts and you only started with one. I did this for $4.60. Let's look at just the numbers. It's a 71% pop. I'm going to have $7.70 in theta decay. It's basically del delta neutral, less than one delta. Delta is shares of stock equivalent. My max profit is obviously whatever I can sell it for. I sold it for four dollars and sixty cents. That's four hundred and sixty bucks. Your buying power is going to reflect that four hundred and sixty dollars minus the width of the strikes, which brings us to fifteen hundred and fifty dollars, fifteen hundred and forty dollars, depending on where you get filled on this spread. Your buying power is not going to change after the split. It's going to be the same. Your number of contracts will change. Again, you will have 10 contracts on each line, and this will be four, 46 cents. The strikes that you will be short will be the 96 strike and the 139 strike. The strikes that you will be long will be the 141 and the 94. With, if the stock is right here, the stock will be trading at 100 and thirteen dollars and eighty six cents, eighty five cents, depending on how it is. That's if all things remain exactly the way they are right now. I'm Tony Batista. You've been listening to Tasty Live, but you know what I need you to do? I need you to transfer, move, bring your account to Tasty Trade. And you know, if you bring your account over with all those option contracts, here's a little perk for you. It's free to close. That's right. Even though you didn't pay us the commissions, we don't care. You bring those account over, no commissions to close those trades. Also, we'll give you money for bringing your account over, depending on the account size, up to $5,000. So check that out and help us keep the lights on here.